Hello friends, back to problem analysis. It's me Jaseem. If you are interested in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry and the different properties of right triangles, then here is an interesting problem. Consider a right triangle with smaller side is 8 units and the hypotenuse is 17 units. A square is drawn with base edges lying on the hypotenuse and its opposite edge is passing through the right angle corner. A red colored line segment is drawn as shown in the figure. Then my problem is, what is the length of this red colored line? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. First, let's analyze what are given in the problem. First of all, the right triangle has hypotenuse 17 units and the smaller side is 8 units. And then, the square has one side lying on the hypotenuse and its opposite side is passing through the right angle corner. Now remember what is our aim of this problem. It is nothing but to find the length of the red color line. This is the structure of our problem, so always keep in mind. Now observe the figure. Suppose the side length of the square is A. Then these two sides are also equal to A. Then this part will be equal to hypotenuse of the right triangle that is 17 minus side length of the square which is A. That is, the required length is equal to 17 minus A. Now in the figure, you can see another right triangle here. Its base is equal to 17 minus A and height is equal to A. Then, by applying the Pythagoras theorem, we will get the hypotenuse, which is in fact the red color line segment in our problem, is equal to square root of 17 minus A whole square plus A square. We have to find this value. For that, first we need to calculate the value of A. Now in the figure, consider this right triangle. Its hypotenuse is equal to 17 and one of the perpendicular sides is equal to 8. Then the remaining perpendicular side is equal to square root of 17 square minus 8 square by using the Pythagoras theorem and that is equal to square root of 289 minus 64 equal to root 225 that is equal to 15 units. Now for this right triangle draw the height from its right angle corner to the hypotenuse. Clearly this height is equal to the side length of the square equal to A. Now calculate the area of the right triangle. Why we are doing this is because we can calculate the area in two different ways. First one is area is equal to half of the product of base and height. Here base is the hypotenuse which is equal to 17 units and height is equal to A. That is area is equal to half into 17 into A equal to 17A divided by 2. But since the triangle is a right triangle area can be calculated by the formula half of the product of its perpendicular sides and the perpendicular sides are 8 and 15. So the area is equal to half into 8 into 15 equal to 60 square units. That is we get the equation 17a by 2 equal to 60. Therefore a is equal to 120 divided by 17 units. This value is approximately equal to 7.0588 units. Therefore, in the diagram of our problem, side length of the square A is equal to 120 divided by 17 units. And as we told, the length of the red color line is equal to square root of 17 minus A whole square plus A square. Substitute A equal to 120 by 17 to get 1 by 17 into square root of 289 minus 120 whole square plus 120 square. This is equal to 
1 by 17 into square root of 169 square plus 120 square equal to 1 by 17 into square root of 42,961. The number 42,961 is a prime number. So we can leave this number as it is. So the length of the red color line in our problem is 1 by 17 into square root of 42,961 units. This value is approximately equal to 12.1924 units. And that is the solution we are looking for. And that's all about this video. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. And thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another interesting problem.